Hello. Hopefully you can hear us over the air conditioning and the cicadas. Um, let's see. We had an eventful week. Pax had a field trip to Rock City. And uh, Watson and I tagged along. So we will show some of that. Watson was sick like all week. And I thought by Friday he was better. Uh, and since we were... Rock City is outside. I figure it would be fine to take him. He was excited about going and then uh, anyway, he ended up not feeling very well by the end of it. So, uh, um, tomorrow we have a field trip. Tomorrow you have a field trip to go roller skating, which I will to the film. Skate place. Mm -hmm. But that should be fun. <laughs> uh, so, both Pax and Watson weren't feeling great like all I'm, weekend. I'm still not feeling good. You're still not feeling good? Oh yeah, both Pax and Watson weren't really feeling great all weekend, so we just had a low-key weekend, except for I did go paddle boarding with my friend Mandy, which was really fun, and I loved it, and I definitely want to do it again, maybe even buy a paddle board, but um, so, I'd love um, to take Pax. So when she was paddle boarding, she lost her keys. I lost my keys. I did a whole reenactment well, of it. Well, her keys. Yeah. Oh Right, Kyle. yes, I lost Kyle's only set of keys in the Tennessee River. I'll, I did a whole reenactment of it, um, so you can see how that went down. We're still waiting to uh, get those keys. That was a big mistake and um, made it for a very memorable day, and I will never do that again, I hope. Let's see, what else? Um, I didn't really film anything on Sunday because everybody was feeling tired and yucky. Uh, but I did film a little clip uh, from Monday. Watson stayed home one more day on Monday um, of us doing a sink or float experiment. So Watson has some exciting news. He moved up in his school to the ladybug class. Watson moved up to the ladybug room when he went to school on Tuesday. So Welcome to our next guest, Watson. <laughs> <Captain! laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, hopefully the next one will be less... Okay, hopefully the next one will be less eventful. voiceover Rosie. I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about this place called Rock City. So Rock City is one of Chattanooga's premier tourist traps uh, located on top of Lookout Mountain. Uh, the other two tourist traps are the Incline, uh, and, which, which is a streetcar that takes you up Lookout Mountain, and Ruby Falls, which is a cave with a waterfall also on Lookout Mountain. Now I will say Rock City is really cool. I just think it's overpriced for what it is. Um, anyway, it gets its name uh, from, I guess, two missionaries in the 1830s uh, found this site on top of the mountain with all of these boulders and rocks and wrote uh, in their journal that it was arranged in such a way to afford streets and lanes. After that, people started calling it Rock City. Um, the place was purchased by a man and um, his wife. Gar Carter Garnet and Frida Garnet, I believed, uh, and they were they were into this place and wanted to build it up. Frida, I guess, was very into fairy tales, um, so had all of these gnome statues imported, as well as sort of these fairy tale statues. Um, there's a whole like fairy tale section of like glow in the dark cave fairy tale section of Rock City that's kind of weird, but I guess makes more sense once you understand the, the history of the people who owned it. 
Um, in addition, you'll see if you ever drive around on top of Lookout Mountain that everything is like fairy tale themed, like Red Riding Hood Lane. Um, it's kind of cool. It's a cool theme. I will admit it's a cool theme for a, a town on top of a mountain. Anyway, um, also fun fun bit of trivia I learned. Um, Carter Garnett was working on building a golf course uh, in Rock City and uh, it just was taking too much time so he ended up making a mini golf course which apparently was the first mini golf course that there ever was. Uh, it's no longer there. But that's a cool fact. Let's see, anything else? Oh, um, you may be familiar with Rock City if you ever see a barn or a sign uh, in a large radius around Chattanooga that says, See Rock City. It's sort of a, it's a well-known thing around here. You can buy birdhouses and other merchandise with this slogan on it. So apparently by 1969, over 900 barns and roofs um, were painted in 19 states with uh, the word Sea Rock City on it. Drawing people in from all over. Uh, one more thing to note, you can see apparently on a, on a clear day, which was, that was, was, we were not there on a clear day, um, but on a clear day, supposedly you can see seven states from the top of the mountain. I don't know if that's true. But that's what they claim is true. Anyway, we had a great time until the end when Watson started getting tired. There's the wolf. Remember Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Jack and the Beanstalk? See the giant at the top of the beanstalk? They're going to chop it down. See the jack at the bottom with the axe? I passed the duck. I out that one. Mm, I don't know. Three bears? See where the bears jumping on the belly. Uh, good morning. I am on my way to go stand up paddleboard for the first time. Um, so we'll see how that's going to go. We were going to go on a hike, my friend Mandy and I. But it's just going to be really hot and she has limited time. Limited time, So this is a great compromise since she just got a paddleboard. I've never done it. should be really fun. <music> What a, oh, look at those trees over there. Let me, let me just take some pictures and some video of those beautiful trees. Then let me put my phone back in 
Oh no, my key, the bag's sticking. Oh no, oh, the key, it, it sank to the bottom. The, the only key to my car, why did I even bring it with me on the water? It's in the bottom. Let me look around for it. Oh no, it, it fell in, in the bottom of the mud. I'm in this plant, <laughs> this big plant that's underwater and I can't find it. And I looked really hard and it's lost. And now I don't have a key to my car. So. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi. Um, yes, car dealership. I dropped my key, my only key in the river. How do I get a new key? Oh, I have to have my car towed to the dealership in order to get a new one programmed? I can't call a locksmith? <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Tow Truck. Hey, I just want to let you know that my car is at the bottom of this steep hill, and I hope that's okay. Uh, it'll be okay, I think. I'm really stressed about this. I don't know if they'll be able to tow the car up the hill. Beep, 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 beep. Oh wait, I forgot the car's locked, so now we have to unlock it and like break into it and then we have to put the car in neutral and then we have to put the car on the tow truck. So just pretend all of that just happened. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Hello, okay, my car's here, dealership people. Oh, uh, okay, we'll get you uh, some new keys, but we won't have them available until, you know, like three days from now. Uh, okay, I guess it is what it is. Actually, we won't have it for like four days. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause your your driver's license doesn't match the registration, and we should have told you that, but we did it. Okay, I guess an another day is okay. Actually, it won't be until five days from now because it turns out you're actually gonna need to get two keys, and for some reason we didn't realize that, and we didn't order two keys. We just ordered one, so now I gotta order another key. But hopefully, it'll be ready tomorrow. Oh, oh, okay. Sure. So, um, my mom very kindly bought me all of this stuff. I don't even have a paddleboard, but, like, if I get one, I will never, ever drop anything in the water and have it be, like, unrecoverable ever again. Thanks, Mom.
Watson and I are out here uh, collecting collecting various objects, also walking the dogs, we're multitasking, but we're going to see if all of these objects sink or float. Right, Watson? Mm -hmm. Stop filming it. Oh, so he said I should stop filming it, so I will. What about one of these? They're like little like seeds. Uh huh. Yeah, pine cones are pokey. What do you think? Wait, what do you think? Um, Sink. Yep. I'm gonna say. all the objects out and put them back on the tray. B because otherwise that would be Nibba. <laughs> There's there a bee that's all by itself by baby. Is there another bee and baby? There you go. Bye, Okay, no, we that's.